Hey YouTube! This is Farwas23 and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior 2. In the last episode, we learned that the evil wizard sorcerer, Hargon, has gone to dis gone and sacked the castle of Moonbrook. And a guard came and told us, and so we have been dispatched to try to stop him. We are a of the bloodline of the legendary hero, hero Erdrick and the hero of the last game, and we have been sent out. We are the Prince of Minval. And we have learned that there are two companions who may indeed assist us, but first we should head to the town of Leftwind. Let's go. Somewhere to the west here. We've grinded up to level three. Try to give us a little survivability. Uh oh, swamps. Oh, monsters! Uh oh. Got three groups of them. Let's take out that big slug. You guys don't scare me! You're just slimes! Gotcha! I wonder if the copper sword that we were bestowed upon at the beginning of our adventure by our father was indeed the copper sword of the, legend of the hero of the first game. That'd be kinda cool. Oh, ghost mouse! Ugh! Take that! And that! <laughs> they take two hits! My level, for my level 3 skills. That's bad. That must be left wing. No! Oh, an iron ant. Ooh. And a jackie. They're pumping up the difficulty on me. Well, I can take on trackies. Let's get into left wing. And here's a left wing. Oh. Welcome to left wing. Excellent. What's up with you, buddy? Oh, that would have scared me. And my hiccups are cured! Thank thee, stranger. Alright. Oh. If thou art poison, each step will weaken thee further. Oh, really? There's a house of healing. Look for the monolith by the inland sea west of this place. It is by that route alone that thou shalt reach Moonbrook. Oh, cool. That's how we get to Moonbrook. Alright. I've heard that the heir of our good king has ventured forth to do battle with the evil sorcerer Hargon. What? Thou art the one? Luck be with thee. Oh, so Minhal's actually... Le Left one's actually part of Minhal's territory. Oh, really? Oh. I actually would have thought something else, which we haven't quite learned yet. Wow, but... oh, wow. Northward lies the castle of Kanok, my friend. Oh. Oh. You! Oh. You! Let's not think it was Hargon who attacked Moonbrook and set it aflame. I do. Yes, I think so too. What if I say no? But it can't, I cannot think of anyone else with such power. We deal weapons and armor. Does not wish to see them? Sure. Hmm, I'm kinda low on money right now, and our copper sword is more powerful than a club, so we should pass on that. Another shield would be nice though. Hmm, but we need more money. We need some more of that money. Get out of the store. Thank you. We deal in tools. What can I offer thee? Well, Wing of the Wyvern would bring us back to the last place we saved. You can save at multiple locations in this game, not just at the first uh, castle with your, your father, the king. Um, but let's head north. Let's see what's going on. So Kanok is up here. Let's see if we can find it. Uh oh. More Drekkies! Drekkies A, B, and C. How, how very Sesame Street. I'm sure there has to have been a sketch at some point. Ow! Okay, uh, hero? Hero? Really, hero? Getting your ass handed to you here. No, 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 not talk. Uh, the item list, please. Use a medical herb. Whew. Goodness. Let's avoid the mountains for now. Where's... Ah, that must be Kanok. More iron ants. These guys are not nice. Come on, really? There. 
and we level up to level four. Look at all those extra bonuses. Let's get into the castle. Thank you. And we are in Cannot Castle. I saw the sky burning red on the southern horizon. Perhaps it was Moonbrook Castle in flames. You called the fire department, right? Listen closely. Our prince has studied the ways of magic. Though with heavy armors or weapons, he has no skill. Still, he seeks to fight evil. Well, that must be the Prince of Kenok, my cousin. A little inn. I, I think seeing at the inn might be a good idea, don't you, viewers? Let's do it. I trust our Lord. Goodbye. Something that always kind of bugs me in video games, and it's a limitation. I've always been bothered by... Okay, I just stay at the inn, right? And it says, good morning, thou hast had a good day. That means time is actually physically passed in the game world, so the quest that we're soon about to depart upon to locate the Prince of Canock, it would seem... I mean, he does physically move, but it doesn't matter whether or not I stay in the inns or not, he always does move. It's just, I would like it if we could actually physically meet him later in the game based on how often we stay at inns and such. Am I making sense? Oh, man. Let's pick up another medical herb. And we'll stay with that. Fairy water can uh, keep the minions of Hargon away, similar to what they did to the mains of the Dragon Lord. If I would speak to the prisoners, so do so through the barred doors. What's this? That is the chamber of Prince Numor's sister, Princess Hala. Oh, Numor, huh? Who art thou, a friend of my brother's? Yes, I'm his cousin. Then I'll give you some advice. My brother has gone searching for the Spring of Bravery, but he travels slowly. Oh. So we gotta find Prince Numor, which I believe is the exact same name I got in the previous randomization. Maybe that was Firewoods in the last game. I can't remember what name I picked. I thought I picked Trevor. Uh, welcome to Cannot Castle. While we're already inside. I've heard of a cave far to the east in which the Spring of Bravery rises. Welcome, Fire Wizard. Of experience points, you need 68 to reach the next level. My son Numor has already left on his journey. Please find him and take him as thy companion. Does thou wish to save thy deeds in the Imperial Scrolls of Honor? Sure. Does thou wish to continue thy quest? Yes. You gotta find the prince. With my son's help, thou shalt go far. Well, I guess your son must be must be Uber, right? He must really know what he's doing. Alright. Well, we're gonna have no chance of finding your son right now as we are now, so I'm gonna travel back to the left wing. Uh, just be right back, viewers. Okay, and we're back here. Uh, let's head south to back to Left Wind because they have that really cool weapon shop, so I can grind up and get myself some better weapons and stuff. These guys are just being brutal on me. I need more. I need more defense. I need better weapons. I've got to take these guys out. This is never gonna work. But we can do it. I know we can. We are the Prince of Middenhall, after all. Hey, that rhymed. No! Oh, more Iron Ants! Yeah, I started thinking of, like, whole narratives for the characters in this game, and I've, I've got some interesting ideas for this Let's Play, so I hope you enjoy it. We're definitely getting experience now, so we're gonna grind up pretty quickly. There's Left Wind. What's my item situation look like? my gold situation looking. Let's go get myself a shield. Hell yeah. I do. You have that leather shield, sir. It kind of drains me, though, but I will... Equipped the leather shield. Very nice. Okay, you people are in my way. Move! Thank you. I am the Prince of Minhal. <laughs> Thou shalt get the hell out of my way. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Nothing ghost mouse. Four damage? Really? Freaking shield on! Hmm. We'll be here in the desert. That'll raise the encounter rate a little bit. More Iron Ants. Let's see what you do this time, Iron Ants. Yeah, like two damage, much better. I'm not going about taking four damage from these guys. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it 
it reminds me, this is very reminiscent to me of when I was playing playing Final Fantasy as a fighter solo, that you can get enough armor such that, like, monsters are only doing one damage to you, but then you get into combats where you have, like, eight or nine monsters, and they're just constantly pinging you for one damage. It becomes just an endurance test just to stay alive. Especially when you get stun-locked. Ugh. Sucks. In this case, I do actually want to fight these multiple battles because... And show them on screen, because they're just grinding. I know it might not be the most interesting thing in the world, but... It's for the entertainment value. Which... Because things that are interesting are entertaining. It's... One Iron Ant. Really, game? Payoff! A tremendous blow! Gotcha! of enemies. Ha! Take out that flying enemy first. Because my scrub sprites died last round, so I can't defend against that flying enemy. <laughs> nope. Wrong game. Game I should play again. More big slugs. Yeah, I just want you viewers to get the full experience of how this game actually is. I want you I want you to see the grinding and stuff I have to go through with these monsters. Nice. Rook level five. I have a few minutes here, we'll keep on grinding. It occurs to me as I've kind of as I've slowed down here on YouTube, just the level of work I put through. There are games I do wish I had a chance to play, um, specifically those from the 64 era. I would love to play, say, Space Sh Station Silicon Valley, Banjo-Kazooie, uh, Misko Ninja starring Goemon. Uh, emulation just simply cannot... I, I can't capture properly, there are delay issues, and I'd really like to have a proper... I did not realize I had that, that low HP. Uh, let's use a medical this round. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't realize I was on the verge of dying, sorry about that. I, I would much rather have a proper capture device and a proper console to play those games. Because when I play, you do Banjo-Kazooie on an emulator, there is, like, delay here and there that is brutal in an action game. Like, you can't have that kind of delay. I could think of other games. Oh yeah, um, uh, Castlevania Legacy of Darkness. I would, I would love to do a Let's Play of that. Full Let's Play of all four characters. But again, just the emulation is just not there. And on that emulator, it's, there's such a horrible issue of trying the game. The emulator trying to remember, a la a uh, like a save cartridge that a memory cartridge that things have happened. Oh, and uh, Goemon's Great Adventure. I wouldn't mind playing either. But I admit, I hate the ending of that game. I hate that you have an impact battle and then the final battle as a regular character. It just seems very anticlimactic to me. I'm recording this before heading to work. We've got about a half an hour or so here. So I want to get something ready for you, the viewers, to watch today. We'll fight these big slugs. And swing my mighty blade! And I do not know the experience levels. I know they are fixed in this game. As well as the actual stat games are fixed. Maybe it's 200 I need? X. 
experience. Let's see if we can find another enemy. Do you think they'd be getting scared? <laughs> another thing about the ecology of monsters, like, you think they'd be freaking out a little bit that their their friends are just getting slaughtered left and right? At least I have seen uh, the Quest for Glory one, the first Quest for Glory game. There is actually a rational thing that happens after a certain level of experience points is that monsters, the types of monsters you encounter in the day and the night, actually change. I'm presuming there could be an ecological discussion that the monsters have simply kind of wisened up, like, okay, we're just not fighting this anymore, or you've simply reduced their numbers so much they just don't care. Uh, well, ecologically, that you reduce their numbers so much. Or they're just scared. They're getting scared that all their friends and family are just dying around, dying around them for some from some crazy hero going around. They're like, "Yeah, we're not doing this anymore." And so the bigger monsters take over. I like more the ecological uh, possibilities. Let's uh, up. Wow, it's unresponsive. I finally got a brand new. Uh, Controller. It's an old. It's an old GameStop controller I got for ten bucks at a thrift store. I'm really, really happy with it. So I was having that bumper issue with the old one. Let's keep grinding here. I would like to get up to level six before we end the video. What's my gold doing? One forty three. Nice. I would like to grab myself a better weapon or possibly better armor. Uh, monsters. Hello. <laughs> What's well, when I want the encounter rate to be bad? Like, there's nothing. Ha! <laughs> oh, I gotta tell a great story. I... Okay, I was driving my car, I was going to a store, and we have parallel parking on the sides of our streets in the downtown of the, the town where I live. I pulled my car, and I have a big vehicle. I have a Ford Crown Victoria, and I have difficulty, because of how big it is, I can't gauge the edges of it properly, but I went to the curb a little, perhaps a little faster than I should have, or just, I couldn't gauge it properly. My tire went right into a metal grating, and I actually ripped into my tire. I didn't puncture it. I, that was really happy. I was, like, freaked out, but I went ahead and did the shopping I needed to do, and I brought it to my mechanic. I'm like, you know, can you help me out? Can you help me out? He actually sold me this car from an auction of, like, 14 police cars he actually got, and I knew that there was at least one car he could not sell because of the level of damage, but there would still have been the tires. And he still had the tires, and he still got me the new tire for, like, 40 bucks. I was so happy. And that's all he charged me to switch the tires out. And he rotated one of my back ones onto that front tire. But I'm so pissed. <laughs> ah! And I knew something was going to happen, too, because I was, like, uh, in that parallel parking, like, the car is so large, like, trying to get between two cars is really, really tight. And I was having trouble just seeing the tires. I might just have to find another place to... I just gotta park a different spot. I can't do that parallel parking there. And don't worry, it's not like the whole town is that way. It's this, it's this one specific downtown thing, and there's a set of shops I like to go to. And there is a public area I could go to, but you like to be close, you know? Eh. I'm just happy it got settled so quickly. Here's another Jackie. hi -ya! Where's my level? Come on! I want this video to go on forever. This is something I, I consider I might have to actually rethink the grinding because of the um, length of YouTube videos. I do get concerned about how much... How long these get. Come on, level 6, come on. <sighs> you know, I'll stop it here because I don't want the video to get too long. And next time on Let's Play Dragon Warrior 2, I'll get up to level 6, we'll grab some equipment, and we'll head on to the Spring of Bravery. This is Firewoods 23. Take care and bye-bye for now, everybody.